I mean, they released their they released their, the strategic oil reserves because they know that enough people out there are stupid enough to not be able to put two and two together. They know that they can release those oil reserves, and, and, and unfortunately, 20% of the population will point and go, gas lower, gas price go down, and that's enough to get their votes. Just like, the, just like when they, they did their student loan forgiveness. They knew that wasn't going to hold up in court. They knew they didn't have the power to do that, and they did it anyway, knowing that it was going to get rejected because they know that enough Gen Z members out there are stupid enough to vote for them. They were stupid enough to buy that line of crap. Why my student loans are gone? Without understanding the, the Supreme Court precedent that had literally just been set prior to that about executive powers that nullified that. There's no way it holds up in court. But there are enough people, again, 20% of the voting bloc, that was stupid enough to see that and go, oh, wow, I got to vote Democrat now. Got to vote Democrat. It, it, it worked because they were right. Because they believed that enough of this country was, and enough of the voters specifically, were dumb enough to fall for their line of bullshit that they could get away with this. And they were right. They took a calculated risk and it paid off big time. It didn't save them the House. They were going to lose the House no matter what. That was a done deal. But it saved them the Senate. Now watch, they're going to they're gonna pull some other nonsense right before 2024. Just I, I don't know what it's going to be. But it's going to be something. They've done the pandemic with mail-in voting, and you can vote for four weeks as many times as you want now. That was 2020. 2022, they kept some of those rules that were blatantly unconstitutional, but it's too late. You know, It's like when, when the NFL comes out uh, after referees make a call that blows a game, like directly, objectively affects the outcome of a game. And they're like, yeah, that was a bad call. That shouldn't have happened that way. The game's already over. They can't go back and say, well, this team actually won. That was a bad call. They benefited from it directly. No, they, they, the game's over. It's like the courts are going out and saying, yeah, a lot of these election laws are unconstitutional. You guys cheated. You broke laws to do this. But there's nothing we can do. It's too late. 2020 is over. And they knew that would happen. Because this whole administration strategy is just stalling. That's why they stalled with the, with the gas prices. They knew gas was going to go back up as soon as they stopped releasing the strategic oil reserves. They knew that the student loan crap wasn't going to hold up in court, but they knew it would be held off long enough, excuse me, that they could get through the elections with it. They could use it to buy some votes, some cheap votes in the elections, some low in or information voters. It's like they knew that this crap wasn't with the elections wasn't going to hold up in court, but we'll, we'll deal with it later. Put it on the credit card. Deal with it later. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to click the link in the description to get the full episode on Rumble. If you prefer to listen along, you could actually get us on Spotify, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio. You can also go to www.outlawstreamers.com to learn more about not just my show, but tons of other great shows and all the exciting projects they have coming up. Follow my socials at Caleb Isn't Funny on Twitter and Instagram, at Caleb Salvatore Comedy on the Chinese spy app that is TikTok, and be sure to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks, and we'll see you every Saturday for brand new episodes of That's Based. Peace.